please be seated. It is my distinct pleasure to welcome you to the 2013 Convocation, Investiture, and Degree Conferring Ceremony of the West Virginia University School of Dentistry. And I bring you greetings from the faculty and staff of our institution. I'd also like to introduce a few dignitaries present on the stage today. First, the Chancellor for Health Sciences, Dr. Chris Kalenda. Chris, would you stand to be recognized? And next, we have Ms. Amy Lewis uh, from the Board of Governors of West Virginia University. Amy? We are absolutely delighted to have each of you here this morning to celebrate with us as we recognize, honor, and confer diplomas to the dental school's graduates with degrees of Doctor of Dental Surgery, Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene, Master of Science, and certificates in our advanced education programs. To the class of 2013, we are extremely proud of each of you and in what you have accomplished. It is truly a pleasure for your faculty and staff, your families, and your friends to assemble today in your honor at this ceremony. I also want to begin today's celebration by recognizing the members of our audience who have supported our graduates with their time, their talents, and of course, with their finances. Many of you have served as patients for your sons or daughters. Certainly, you have all played a major role in the success of the 2013 graduating class. If you're a parent or grandparent of one of our graduates, would you please stand and be recognized? And will the spouses, children, or significant others of our graduates please stand and be recognized? We give our sincere thanks to each of you for, your, for entrusting the education of your sons and daughters to WVU. We would also like to recognize graduates who have served the nation with valor and sacrifice. The red, white, and blue cords these students wear today are a tribute to their selfless service. We also honor faculty and staff who have served in the military. Two of our graduating dental students have opted for careers in the U.S. Navy. I will ask that our Naval Dental Corp candidates Dr. Michelle Romeo and Dr. Katie Krabinski both stand and be recognized at this time. And thank you both in advance for your service. I will also ask that those faculty and staff who have served previously in the armed services stand and be recognized. And please join me in thanking them for their prior service. Fifty-six years ago, in 1957, the School of Dentistry had its beginning with the admission of the first class of dental students. In the fall of 1961, our four-year program in dental hygiene began. Since 1957, West Virginia University has awarded 2,203 dentists the Doctor of Dental Surgery degrees, 926 Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene degrees, 30 Master of Science degrees in Dental Hygiene, and 458 Master of Science in, or postdoctoral certificates. Over the years, the WVU School of Dentistry has gained a national reputation for producing outstanding dental clinicians. Our graduates continue to find that they have strong clinical skills when working with peers from other academic institutions. To the class of 2013, consider the volume of information you have assimilated over the past four years. In addition to learning to be competent dentists, you have also been trained and certified in the use of lasers in dentistry, and West Virginia University is only one of two dental schools in the country to provide this training and certification. In addition, you were trained in the placement and restoration of many dental implants, and we're the only school in the U.S. to offer this training. Other cutting-edge technologies are currently being ex explored for future classes, including emerging CAD CAM technologies, additional training in aesthetic dentistry, and training in the dental role of treating patients with obstructive sleep apnea. Students that follow you will have the opportunity to earn the DDS degree along with the MBA and MPH degrees. And we're one of only seven dental schools in the U.S. to offer these opportunities. 
and we have experienced tremendous growth in our continuing education programming, which will benefit each of you in the future. These new offerings make you, as graduates of WVU, much more competitive to enter the national dental workforce. The WVU School of Dentistry is dedicated to transforming lives and eliminating oral health disparities in West Virginia and beyond. We are transforming lives both in Morgantown and throughout the state with the school's rural health program where patients in communities around the state are receiving dental care from our dental students and our dental hygiene students. We currently have 40 remote dental site offices throughout West Virginia and 92 remote site faculty. Both dental and dental hygiene students from the class of 2013 provided care to over 6,500 underserved patients through the rural health program this year in 28 counties throughout the state. Over 16,000 dental procedures were performed on these patients. And we're estimating, although we don't have the figures yet, that over $5 million in uncompensated care was provided by the class of 2013 this year. We all know that the cost of a dental education is high and that WVU's tuition and fees are still competitive with our peer institutions. However, your return on your investment that you have made can be substantial, making WVU one of the best bargains in the U.S. for dental education. And I'll point out that a recent U.S. News and World Report listing of the top 100 most desirable jobs in the U.S. listed dentistry as number one and dental hygiene as number 10 overall. And growth of both of these professions is projected to be 20% or more over the next seven years. It is truly a great time to be in the profession of dentistry. As members of the class of 2013 and as the newest members of the oral health care workforce, it is up to your generation to accept the responsibility to help solve some of the challenges of access to care and delivery of oral health care both in West Virginia and in the nation. We have provided you with the clinical skills you need to be successful, and you have witnessed firsthand the needs of the citizens throughout our state. Now it is up to all of us working together to help eliminate oral health disparities in West Virginia. However, today is not about the School of Dentistry or our goals for the future. Today is about you, the classes of the 2013. Today is a day for celebration and for reflection. Your dental education has been a journey, not a destination. Today we bestow upon you the titles of dentist, dental hygienist, and dental specialist. Enjoy the moment, be proud of what you have accomplished, and enjoy each other's company, for as you will soon learn, getting all of you back to WVU for class reunions in the future is incredibly challenging. I took the opportunity recently to meet with each of our graduating dental students to conduct their senior exit interviews. I want to first thank each of you for your candid reflections on your four years here at WVU, for sharing your plans for the future, and for sharing information that will enable us as faculty to determine those areas of our academic program that we need to improve for future generations. Your input for our future success has been, to coin a phrase, priceless. For our DDS graduates, 18 of you will enter private practice, 18 will continue your education in postgraduate programs, Two, as I mentioned earlier, have joined the Naval Dental Corp. Four will work in health departments or federally qualified health departments, health centers, and one will join corporate dental practices. Three are still exploring employment opportunities. For our dental hygiene graduates, 12 will enter practice in West Virginia. Seven will become employed outside of the state. And of our graduate residents in our specialty programs, th three will remain in associateships in West Virginia, and eight will join practices outside of the state. To the dental and dental hygiene classes of 2013, your three-year, nine-month, three-day, two-hour, and 12-minute journey has not been an easy one. As students, you have found that the dental curriculum at WVU is very challenging, but also very achievable. And you have realized that the curriculum changes we have implemented have given you a competitive advantage, as well as provided you with a strong educational foundation upon which to practice your profession. The vast majority of you felt that you were well prepared for boards, both national boards and the CERTA and other regional boards. And as you will soon learn, dentistry is one of the most rewarding professions available, both intellectually and financially. Of our 26 dental, 20 dental hygiene, and 10 specialists, 
who will be graduating today, you were selected from over 1,500 applicants to enter the various programs at WVU. That you are here really attests to your knowledge and skills. Your successful completion of our training program distinguishes you no longer as students, but as colleagues, friends, and most importantly, as alumni of West Virginia University. Regardless of where you're from, or where you attended college, or where you're going after graduation, you will forever be Mountaineers. Keep in mind that your education is not ended, as dentistry requires lifelong commitment to continuing education. Much of what you have learned here may well be outdated within the next decade, and you have to keep current with new technologies, new materials, and with the best evidence-based therapies available to provide the best care for your patients. I'll conclude my remarks with three thoughts for you to reflect upon. First, take care of your patients, as they are the reason for our profession. Never settle for average or for providing average care to your patients. While you, we have given you the basic skills for success, each of you has the ability to take your skills to the next level. Secondly, take care of yourselves and your families. While dentistry is a great and financially rewarding profession, your health and well-being are paramount to your continued success. Take time to smell the roses and enjoy a truly rewarding life. And finally, take care of your school. West Virginia University has provided you with an outstanding education and with the skills that will enable you to achieve great things. Give back to your school, whether financially or with your time as adjunct or even full-time faculty positions. We need your help in so many ways, and without it, our abilities to train the next generations of WU dentists dental hygienist and specialist will be challenged. You can make a difference to your alma mater, and I challenge each of you to do so. At this time, I'd like to call to the podium Dr. Christopher Kalenda, Chancellor of the WVU Health Sciences Center. Previously, he served as the Gene and Thomas McMullen Dean of the College of Medicine and Vice President for Clinical Affairs of the Texas A&M University Health Sciences Center. Dr. Kalenda is a specialist in psychiatry who has special training in preventive medicine and public health from the John Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health and Hygiene. He has held previous academic and administrative appointments at the Michigan State University's College of Human Medicine, at Wake Forest University's School of Medicine, and at the M Medical College of Virginia of Virginia Commonwealth University. He has received outstanding faculty awards and is a member of the National Medical Honor Societies. He has long been active in health policy issues nationally. He has been serving as Chancellor for the Health Sciences Center here at WVU since November of 2009. As Dr. Kalenda will be participating in each of the five Health Sciences graduations over the weekend, we are pleased to welcome him here this morning and we appreciate his support of the School of Dentistry. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Christopher Kalenda to the... Thank you, David, and it's six. <laughs> um, welcome. On behalf of West Virginia University and the faculty and staff of the Robert C. Byrd Health Science Center, I want to thank everyone for coming today. Our graduates, of course, are the center of attention today, and we salute them for what they have achieved, but more importantly, for the work that they will begin tomorrow and the impact that they will ha have on the health and well-being of the patients that they serve. I also want to welcome those in the audience who have made these, these folks succeed in their lives. Like Dr. Felton had said, the parents, the grandparents, spouses, children, siblings, and friends who are here today to support you in your graduation experience. I'd like for you to stand up and turn around and thank them for all that they have done for you. And uh, let, remember that they will be with you throughout your professional careers. Please stand. Now it says here, Chancellor's inspirational words. Well, la last year, um, I spoke about leadership in, in the health professions and, and, and the important character traits that, that are found in exceptional leaders. And 
I would like to say that some of these thoughts are my own thoughts, but actually I've, I've liberally taken some of these uh, thoughts from a, a colleague of mine, Dr. Eric Kale, uh, who was formerly the uh, Director of Leadership Development at West Point. And, and Eric uh, is an NC State grad, by the way. Um, and, and he's written quite, he's, he's been a, a master of studying and looking at the leadership characteristics in, in uh, senior organizations, obviously the military, but also throughout, throughout the, the, the uh, um, various professions. And, and he's, he's come upon the, the issue of character as an important qualitative feature in an individual that will predict successful leadership. And last year I talked a little bit about those six qualities of of character that predict positive leadership, and that is integrity, moral courage, and moral courage is not is the courage to be able to say things in a respectful manner that in a way that you might disagree with somebody, but have the ability to stand up for your convictions. Selflessness, empathy, collaboration, and self-reflection. But if you take those six characteristics and realize that we are moving into an era of systems-based practice, and each of you will be high-valued members of a healthcare team, whether you're in a small group practice or an individual practice, you will still be part of a team of individuals delivering healthcare. How, how do these individual characteristics map to the necessary competencies for high-performing teams. So how many of you have ever heard uh, of uh, Chris Warner and Don Shemsky's book called High Altitude Leadership? Well, let me, let me uh, briefly talk about that. Over and over, research about successful teams has shown how teams, how teams behave will predict their level of success. So how you pre behave in your practices with your colleagues will be a measure of the success by which you are able to deliver healthcare services. From their perspective, teams have six behavioral and psychological needs that a team leader must be able to understand and be able to transmit to the team members, and that is respect for each member of the team, recognition for the work that members of the team provide, a sense of belonging, team cohesion, freedom of individuals within that team to be able to feel as though they have been affirmed in terms of their contributions to the team, individual personal growth, and meaning. What is the meaning to be part of the team of healthcare professionals in my office or in my group that provides high quality service? And as team leaders, if you meet these needs, you'll see increased levels of self-efficacy and, and the likelihood that your group will have high levels of success and performance. So as you move into the role of a health professional team leader, think about the role that you will play in building high performance teams. Mapping the six characteristics of individual leadership characteristics with the, those that are found in leaders who lead teams. Integrity, moral courage, selflessness, empathy, the capacity for collaboration, self-reflection, and mapping those on to the team, which requires respect for team members, recognition, belonging, the freedom of teams to be able to be entrepreneurial and, and self-directive, personal growth, and meaning. So keep the following in mind. Motivate yourselves by mission of service, Unite yourselves by the core values of your humanity and always be proud that you're a West Virginia University graduate. Thank you. Godspeed. Thank you, Dr. Kalenda. The West Virginia University Dental Alumni Association had its beginning with the graduation of the first dental class. Our dental and dental hygiene alumni have continuously played a major role in the school's development and recognition. Today, nearly 81% of the state's practicing dentists and 25% of the state's practicing dental hygienists are alumni of our school. WVU alumni continue to have an incredible impact 
on both the oral and systemic health of the citizens of West Virginia, as well as nationally and globally. The WVU Dental Alumni Association's Board of Governors has instituted numerous activities to enhance the student's experience. A professionalism ex uh, assembly and reception is held for freshmen and their parents shortly after they arrive on campus. They help support student table clinics and table clinic awards. And fall and spring alumni continuing education programs and luncheon, they provide student clinician awards as well as instrument awards. They help support the White Coat Clinic Induction Ceremony. They also help sponsor the Senior Banquet, which was held yesterday evening. The WVU Dental Alumni Association helps you stay connected with each other and with your school. We are especially pleased to have Dr. Peter Lescheid, current president of the West Virginia University School of Dentistry Alumni Association, with us this morning to bring greetings to this year's graduates and to deliver the commencement address. A native of Pittsburgh, Dr. Lescheid graduated from WVU School of Dentistry in 1986. He currently practices in Hope Sound, Florida with his wife, Beth, who was a 1987 graduate of the WVU Dental Hygiene Program. Please join, in, join me in welcoming Dr. Peter Lescheid to the podium. Thank you very much. On behalf of the West Virginia University School of Dentistry Alumni Association, it's my pleasure to say congratulations and also to welcome you to your alumni association. As the first class of the WVU School of Dentistry anticipated graduation in the spring of 1961, its members prepared to organize an alumni association. That was 52 years ago and we are still going strong. As a dental student, my four years in Morgantown were full of numerous happy times and certainly unforgettable happy memories. My classmates from the class of 1986, including Dr. Price, <laughs> will be my friends forever due to the common bonds that we developed and we shared while in dental school. More importantly, my four years of hard work as a dental student helped lay a groundwork and a foundation for my life and it has blessed me with an occupation that is second to none. As president of the Alumni Association, I would like to share our mission as follows. First, to advance the school's reputation by providing functions and programs that keep alumni informed about the school's progress and preserving strong ties between alumni, faculty, and students. And second, to provide programs that foster strong ties amongst the alumni and also strong ties with the faculty, staff, and students of the School of Dentistry. As a member of the School of Dentistry Alumni Association, you are part of a continued network of professionals who all share a common goal of improving the professions of dentistry and dental hygiene. As you are most certainly aware, the key to fostering continued growth in these professions is through education your school has provided you with the necessary tools to be a successful dentist and or dental hygienist. You and I are fortunate to be mountaineers. Please remember to support the School of Dentistry, not only with your time, but also with your talent and your treasure. Congratulations on all of your accomplishments and welcome to your alumni association. Thank you, Dr. Lashaib. Next, we will hear from representatives of the dental and dental hygiene classes to reflect on their academic journey at the School of Dentistry. First, I'd like to introduce Dr. Dana Elizabeth Craig, the president of the senior dental class of 2013. Dana will be continuing her education in a graduate program in orthodontics. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Dana Craig to the podium. Dana. Thank you, Dr. Felton. Let me 
find where I'm supposed to be here first. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> it is an incredible honor to speak on behalf of the class of 2013. In August of 2009, we were brought together for the first time. We sat in a room full of strangers for our dental school orientation, and we have spent the past four years together fighting the mostly uphill battle to make it to this day. I can't believe we've made it. On behalf of our class, I would first like to thank all the faculty, staff, administration, and alumni. You are the backbone of this wonderful dental school, and we thank you for all the time and energy that you've dedicated to our education over the past four years. This February, the School of Dentistry lost a passionate educator and clinician. Dr. Schulman shared his immense knowledge of pediatric dentistry with us, and we are grateful to have had the opportunity to learn from him. I would also like to thank all the family, friends, spouses, and loved ones. We couldn't have made it through dental school without you. Your excitement and congratulations when things went well, your unwavering support when things got tough, and your willingness to listen to all of our dental lingo. For example, about a year ago, my husband Dan and I saw a cute little bulldog with a great big underbite. And Dan looked at me and said, look at that class three malocclusion. <laughs> it was then that I realized that I talk about dentistry way too much. <laughs> but honestly, I believe the stress of dental school would have been difficult to endure without each of us having a wonderful support system. I remember during our dental school orientation, there were some third and fourth year students who had come to give us words of advice. I vividly remember one student offering this encouragement. She said, the stress level will climb and climb, and then it'll reach a plateau, and you won't even notice that you're stressed anymore because you just get used to it. And she was right. Our first and second years were full of lectures and more midterms and final exams than I ever thought possible. Gross anatomy, histology, biochemistry, dental anatomy, dental materials, the list goes on and on. Those days were filled with cramming for exams, never getting enough sleep, calculating our grades so we knew exactly how many questions we could miss on the final, and sending mass text messages to alert everyone that grades had been posted. We spent hours in our preclinical lab where we learned to drill on plastic teeth and border mold a denture on a mannequin head. Making the transition into the clinic was a big stepping stone. We were assigned our first patients and were given the grueling task of helping the school transition from paper charts to the electronic health record. Our priorities suddenly changed. We were no longer studying nonstop, but instead we were learning to provide top-notch patient care. And we quickly learned two of the most important things about life in the dental school clinic. Number one, make sure you get every necessary form swiped and approved. And number two, earning clinic attendance hours. <laughs> We've learned how to extract teeth, place fillings, make dentures and partials, and cut crown preparations. We've worked hard to pass our written and clinical board exams and meet our clinical benchmarks. It really has been a long and grueling road, but as Henry Ford once said, whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. We've all worked very hard to get here, but we've had fun along the way too. We've celebrated birthdays, engagements, marriages, and even a couple of births. We've enjoyed wine and cheese parties, as to field days, formals, ugly Christmas sweater parties, and weekend socializing. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's safe to say we've all built friendships that will last a lifetime. Four years ago, our paths brought us together to the WVU School of Dentistry to build the foundation of our dental career. And now our paths diverge. Some are going on to GPRs, AEGDs, and specialty programs, and others are headed into practice. No matter where we go from here, though, we are professionals. We will leave here with the title of doctor before our name and DDS after it. Patients will put their trust in us, and we have to be trustworthy. 
It's our responsibility to continue to learn after we leave here and always provide the best care we possibly can. I'd like to end with a quote from one of my favorite philosophers, Dr. Seuss. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes. You can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own and you know what you know and you are the one who will decide where to go. You'll get mixed up, of course, as you already know. You'll get mixed up with many strange birds as you go. So be sure when you step, step with care and great tact, and remember that life's a great balancing act. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. Congratulations, class of 2013. We did it! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Dana. Now I'd like to introduce the representative of the senior dental hygiene class, Ms. Carrie Catherine Thomas. Carrie will continue her education this fall when she enters the dental class of 2017. Please join me in welcoming Carrie Thomas to the podium. Thank you, Dr. Felton. I'm gonna do the same thing as Dana did. I'm gonna try to find where we're at. Did you get it? I might find it sometime today. <laughs> This is not looking good. Hmm. Can you turn it on me? Thank you. All right, well, apparently that was my first test of dental school and I failed. So hopefully the next four years go better than this. <laughs> Thank you again, Dr. Felton. Hello, my name is Carrie Thomas. I'm the president of our program and I'm representing our graduating class of dental hygiene. I'm very honored to be able to speak today, yet I stand up here with mixed emotions. It is such an exciting time to be graduating and moving on to the next step of our careers. But it is also with a twinge of sadness that we say goodbye to these past four years and all the friends we've made and all the memories too. One thing I do know is that I will keep this brief. I remember when I graduated the first time, I actually do not remember who spoke or what they said. But what I do remember is sitting there wondering when the speeches would be done, wanting to celebrate with my families and friends and could not wait to do so. Therefore, I'm just gonna touch on three basic ideas I think are important from our past and also for what lies ahead. I hope you all can remember them too, not just because of the thoughts, but because of what they spell. W, W is for we. I would like to say that each one of you needs to be proud of yourself today and what you have accomplished. It has been a long and tough journey, but you made it. And you should revel in this moment now and forever. Take in every instant of today and hold on to the way you feel and the joy you share. Within that thought, I'd also like to remind us that through the years, there most likely was a we that helped. During our ups and downs, there was someone there to help us through. Either our classmates, friends, family, or even professors. There was someone there to provide an ear to listen, help dry our eyes, or partake in our joy and happiness. There are many times that each and every one of us can think of, perhaps the first semester ever, finals, or all of the boards, that we may not have made it if we were alone, or perhaps just not as graciously. I want everyone sitting here today, either as a graduate or audience, to remember what it feels like to have someone. Now graduates especially, thank those that helped you through these past years, and do not forget what these people meant to you. This is an important concept to learn and to continue to pass on as you grow. Whether it be in your workplace or at home, the concept of we is something that should always be regarded highly. V, V is for values. Not only the ones you were taught here in school, but also your own. Our programs that we are graduating from here today have taught us many different aspects of values. From what they mean to us as a professional, 
and what our profession expects from us, to our own ideas of values and what we are anticipated to do. First and foremost, we were taught the interior ideals of our own profession, and those will all be, always be important to remember. It is our job to take care of the public, perform all procedures with the patient's best interest, treat everyone the same, and be honest. But there's another aspect of values that cannot be taught. These are your personal morals, and they are developed from the moment one is born. There may have been some times over the past three or four years where some of these values have been questioned and or tested. Possibly a certain type of patient in clinic, maybe rural rotation, or again, all the boards. We have put in situations where we had to dig down deep and find our true selves, our true merit. And anyone without core substance may not have made it, but we all did. We are celebrating here today because of this exact foundation, our individual beliefs and principles. Never lose sight of who you are, where you come from, and what, you've re what your values really stand for. You, you is for the unknown. As we graduate today from this school, we are going out into the world unknown. Our professors and faculty have done their very best and an amazing job at that to get us prepared for what lies ahead. However, there will always be some unknown out there and that's okay. We've been through this before. Remember the very first day of classes? Or one's first patient ever? Or just the first day we had to try and learn Axiom? It's good for us to not know everything and to always be learning. Continue questioning everything once you leave academia and always be strong enough to say, I don't know. Question the unknown and strive to answer and comprehend it. You are the one who needs to educate yourself. I hope that everyone can remember my three little ideas of wisdom, especially since it spells out WVU. I would like to thank everyone who has helped all of us over the past few years, and the families and friends celebrating with us today that have made this possible. Just think back to the very first day of classes and remember that feeling that you thought it may never end. Well, it did. This is it. Congratulations to the class of 2013, and I wish you all the very best luck. We made it. Thank you, Carrie. Mr. Joshua Stubbs will now sing My Home Among the Hills.
Among the highlights of today's convocation is the recognition of this year's candidates for the degree of Bachelor of Science in Dental Hygiene. At this time, it is my pleasure to introduce Mrs. Amy Funk, Assistant Professor and Director of the Division of Dental Hygiene in the Department of Periodontics. She will be assisted today by Ms. Sue Ann Gatos, Assistant Professor, and Ms. Ashley Charnoplotsky, Assistant Professor in the Division of Dental Hygiene. On behalf of the Division of Dental Hygiene, I would like to congratulate both the dental and dental hygiene classes of 2013. It's a remarkable day. Your families are all excited. And I have to pause because I don't have this written down, but when you see the undergraduate Bachelor of Science Dental Hygiene students come up here, West Virginia University was sponsoring a contest this year on the best de decorated cap. So we're hoping all the f university photographers are taking pictures of the very nicely decorated caps so we can get on the front page. So today, the dental hygiene class of 2013 will receive a dental hygiene pin signifying clinical competency. The circular design of the pin denotes perpetuity, and the lilac border is the official color of dentistry. Inscribed on the border are the words, West Virginia University Dental Hygiene. Located in the center of the pen is a caduceus upon which the initial D for dentistry is superimposed. Encompassing the entire pen is the laurel leaf. Foliage once used to crown victors in the Olympic Games, but is now symbolic of scholastic honor. Two baccalaureate graduates are donning gold stole, stoles, signifying their membership in Sigma Phi Alpha, the National Dental Hygiene Honor Society. Additionally, students that have achieved academic honors are indicated by asterisks beside their name in your program. And these students can be identified by the blue and gold cords worn today. As mentioned, assisting me with the pinning of the dental hygiene graduates are Ms. Sue Ann Gatis, Senior Clinic Supervisor, Ms. Ashley Charnoplosky, Junior Clinic Supervisor, and receiving the diplomas from Chancellor Kalinda, Dean Felton, and Associate Dean Tobias. Congratulations from the Division of Dental Hygiene. The Dental Hygiene Class of 2013, Kristen Marie Barr from Bridgeport, West Virginia. <laughs> Shannon Bethany Barrett from Washington, West Virginia. Krista Costello from Wexford, Pennsylvania. Chelsea Nicole Ellison from Annapolis, Maryland. Tyler Puel Flesher from Allison Park, Pennsylvania.
Brittany Nicole Fusey from New Cumberland, West Virginia. Subhash Kumar from Punjab, India. Michael Andrew Law from Morgantown, West Virginia. Summer Don McGuire from Mingo Junction, Ohio. Whitney Don Nestor from Motesville, West Virginia. Melanie Ann Osborne from Highbridge, New Jersey. <laughs> Melissa Teresa Pulis from Weirton, West Virginia. Jessica Lee Raiden from Voorhees, New Jersey. Shana K. Shell from Shear, West Virginia. Caitlin Sue Stover from Daniels, West Virginia. <laughs> Lisa Brooke Sturtz from Zanesville, Ohio. Carrie Catherine Thomas from Morgantown, West Virginia. <laughs> Jafe Wong from Brooklyn, New York. Courtney Sheridan Wilkes from Morgantown, West Virginia. <laughs> Jessica Ann Wilson from Summersville, West Virginia.
Thank you, Ms. Funk, Ms. Gatos, and Ms. Charnopolotsky. And please join me in extending our sincere congratulations to the members of the dental hygiene class of 2013. Next on the program is the investiture of the candidates with the academic hood and conferring of the degree of Doctor of Dental Surgery. The hood represents academic and professional achievement and is worn with pride and dignity. Please note that as the candidates are hooded, the border of the hood is trimmed in lilac, which is a color identifying dentistry. The colors of the inside of the hood are gold and blue, signifying West Virginia University. The graduates inducted into Omicron Kappa Upsilon, the National Dental Honor Society, on Thursday evening of this week, will be wearing an academic stole that is part of the academic attire. The stole is in the colors of OKU, navy blue with gold embroidery, trimmed in lilac for dentistry. Today's candidates for investiture will be presented by Dr. Robert Wanker, Assistant Dean for Students and Alumni Affairs and Professor in the Department of Periodontics. Affectionately known as the greatest fisherman of all time, <laughs> Coach Wanker will be assisted today by Dr. Sheila Price, Associate Dean for Admissions, Recruitment, and Access, and by Dr. By Dr. Jack Yorty, Associate Dean for Clinical Education and Patient Care. Dari Alanese Kuwait. Dari will be hooded by Dr. Laura Graves. <laughs> Shelby Allison Alexander, Mullica Hill, New Jersey. Shelby will be hooded by Dr. Laura Graves. Noel Ray Alexis, Claysville, Pennsylvania. Noel will be hooded by Dr. Susan Morgan. <laughs> Preston Stephen Alfred, Weston, West Virginia. Preston will be hooded by Dr. Michael Metter. Mashari Al Kabandi, Kuwait. Mashari will be hooded by Dr. Michael Metter. <laughs> Caroline Haynes Bateman, Fuquay Verena, North Carolina. Caroline will be hooded by Dr. Robert Klein. Danielle LeRae Bishop, Morgantown, West Virginia. Danielle will be hooded by Dr. Zachary Mace. <laughs> 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 
Stephanie Burgess, Morgantown, West Virginia. Stephanie will be hooded by Dr. Eris Chavez. Daniel Andre Campolito, Shepherdstown, West Virginia. Daniel will be hooded by Dr. Michael Metter. Dana Elizabeth Craig, Stoneboro, Pennsylvania. Dana will be hooded by her father, Dr. Dennis Charlton. Joshua Culver, Rosedale, West Virginia. Josh will be hooded by Dr. Laura Graves. <laughs> Casey Curry, Shinston, West Virginia. Casey will be hooded by Dr. Michael Metter. Curtis Glenn Dean Buchanan, West Virginia. Curtis will be hooded by Dr. Mo Galishiboff. Denise Devgun, Charleston, West Virginia. Denise will be hooded by Dr. Mo Galishiboff. Abbas Doctor, Wayne, West Virginia. Abbas will be hooded by his father, Dr. Abdullah Doctor. Whitney Tyree Fleming, Charleston, West Virginia. Whitney will be hooded by her mother, Dr. Laura Marple. Jennifer Lynn Garthrop, Hurricane, West Virginia. Jennifer will be hooded by Dr. Tim Thorne. <laughs> Mina Gabriel, Egypt. Mina will be hooded by Dr. Mike Metter and Dr. Laura Marple.
Gina Beth Graziani, Elkins, West Virginia. Gina will be hooded by Dr. Mike Metter. Adam Michael Grubler, Wheeling, West Virginia. Adam will be hooded by his father, Dr. Mike Grubler. Fatima Hadar, Morgantown, West Virginia. Fatima will be hooded by Dr. Sheila Price. Sean Michael Horan, Wheeling, West Virginia. Sean will be hooded by Dr. Michael Metter. <laughs> Wesley Howard, Fayetteville, West Virginia. West will be hooded by Dr. Mo Galishiboff. Caitlin Spurlock Culvert, Beckley, West Virginia. Caitlin will be hooded by Dr. Mo Galishibov. Amanda Sue Jackson, Summersville, West Virginia. Amanda will be hooded by Dr. Mo Galishibov. Christy Lynn Johnson, Summersville, West Virginia. Christy will be hooded by Dr. Mo Galishibov. Jeffrey Byron Kessiker, Summersville, West Virginia. Jeff will be hooded by Dr. Steve Lovell. <laughs> Justin Keith Kindler, Huntsville, Alabama. Justin will be hooded by Dr. Tyler Dawson. <laughs> Catherine Nicole Krapinski, Wheeling, West Virginia. Katie will be hooded by Dr. Mo Galishibov. <laughs> J. 
Jason M. Lawrence, Charleston, West Virginia. Jason will be hooded by his grandfather, Dr. Joe Alexander. Courtney Elizabeth Law, Wheeling, West Virginia. Courtney will be hooded by her dad, Dr. Donald Law, Jr. <laughs> Courtney Madison, Delton, Michigan. Courtney will be hooded by Dr. Bruce Scheib. <laughs> Pamela Annette McDonald, Brandywine, West Virginia. Pam will be hooded by Dr. Mo Galishibov. Aaron Lynn Miller, Frederick, Maryland. Aaron will be hooded by Dr. Cody Tuttle. <laughs> David Eric Morgan, Currituck, North Carolina. Dave will be hooded by his father, Dr. Patrick Morgan, Jr. Karen Morrison, Asheville, North Carolina. Karen will be hooded by Dr. Sheila Price. Tristar Montrese Oliver, Austell, Georgia. Tristar will be hooded by Dr. Sheila Price. Chad Michael Patera, Weirton, West Virginia. Chad will be hooded by Dr. Steve Lovell. <laughs> Stephen Ryan Peck, Howard, Pennsylvania. Steve will be hooded by his brother, Dr. Nathan Peck. Sonny Palillo, Fairmont, West Virginia. Sonny will be hooded by Dr. Mike Metter. Christopher Neal Reynolds, Canova, West Virginia. Chris will be hooded by Dr. Tyler Dawson.
Savannah Joe Reynolds Crawley, West Virginia. Savannah will be hooded by Dr. Mike Bagby. Michelle Marie Romeo, Charleston, West Virginia. Michelle will be hooded by her father, Dr. Michael Romeo. Alex Suarez, Cranberry Turnpike, Pennsylvania. Alex will be hooded by Dr. Steve Lovell. Christopher Matthew Zambito, Wheeling, West Virginia. Chris will be hooded by his father, Dr. Rick Zambito. Let's give one more big round of applause to the 2013 Dental and Dental Hygiene graduates. Today is a great day at WVU for each of our graduates and for their families. I would like to recognize the faculty, staff, and students who have worked together under the leadership of Dr. Robert Wanker and Mrs. Marilyn Pally in making this convocation ceremony possible, along with the mu musicians who make this day even more special. I would also like to extend a special appreciation to Norma Tennant and Cindy Taylor for their work this weekend on all of the Health Sciences Center graduation ceremonies. The students and I would like to also express our sincere appreciation to Donna Alt, Kathy Boyd, Patty Reed, and Martha Sturms, who have spent so much time and effort in making all the activities of this weekend come together. To the class of 2013, remember, you have, <coughs> excuse me, you have the knowledge base and skills needed to be successful in life and in your, de your dental careers. So consider the following. Where do you want to be in five years, and what do you want to accomplish, both personally and professionally? I'd like to conclude today's ceremonies with a quote from Gary Trudeau, the creator of the Doonesbury comic strip, who said, graduation speeches were invented largely in the belief that college students should never be released into the world until they have been properly sedated. <laughs> and, and I think we've almost accomplished that today. Graduates of the WVU School of Dentistry classes of 2013, go forth and enjoy the journey ahead of you. Thank all of you for joining us here today to celebrate our students' accomplishments. We ask that the members of the audience remain seated until the graduates and the stage party have exited the auditorium. Wait, we forgot something. supposed to get up here on here. Oh no, we've got good lord, I've turned to the wrong page here. Let's back up a little bit. We're not done, sorry. <laughs> At this time I'd like to invite Dr. To Christina Tobias, Associate Dean for Academic and Postdoctoral Affairs, to come forward and recognize the recipients of our postdoctoral degrees and certificates. <laughs> Dr. Tobias. <laughs> We do love you, postdocs. <laughs> uh.
The advanced education programs at West Virginia University School of Dentistry are an integral part of the educational, patient care, service, and research components that support the mission of the school. The Department of Oral and Maxillofacial Surgery offers two postgraduate programs and a one-year graduate practice residency. The two postgraduate programs include the four-year oral and maxillofacial surgery residency and the one-year internship. In addition, there are four programs leading to the Master of Science degree. Post-baccalaureate education in dental hygiene may be pursued on either a full-time or part-time basis and consists of an additional 38 credit hours of study leading to the Master of Science degree in dental hygiene. Postgraduate training in endodontics consists of a two-year program leading to a Master of Science degree and certificate in endodontics. Postgraduate training in orthodontics involves a three-year program of study leading to a Master of Science degree and certificate in orthodontics. Certificates for the advanced education programs in dental hygiene, endodontics, and orthodontics are conferred during separate ceremonies. The names of the candidates for these degrees are listed in your program. Postgraduate training in prosthodontics is also comprised of a three-year program leading to a Master of Science degree and certificate in prosthodontics. One individual has earned the degree of Master of Science in the specialty of prosthodontics and is participating in the ceremony today. The recipient is Dr. Safa Talmasevi from Iran, Tehran, Iran. Dr. Ta Dr. Dr. Thomas Sebi is accompanied by his mentor, Dr. Mohsen Galichabov, professor in the Department of Restorative Dentistry. In 2010, a non-degree preceptor program in periodontics was initiated at the WVU School of Dentistry. The periodontics preceptorship program is specifically designed for a recent dental school graduate who would like to expand his or her knowledge of both periodontics and dental implantology. One individual has earned a certificate of completion and is participating in the ceremony today. The recipient is Dr. Zachary David Mace from Morgantown, West Virginia. Dr. Mace is accompanied by his mentor, Dr. Eros Chavez, the program coordinator and chair of the Department of Periodontics. Please join me again in congratulating the graduates of our advanced education programs. Thank you, Dr. Tobias. Dr. Christopher Kalenda, Chancellor of the WVU Health Sciences Center, will now confer the university degree. Dr. Kalenda. Will the candidates for the School of Dentistry please rise? C candidates, your fields have brought about the modernization of oral health care and has thus made an important contribution to the general health and well-being of all. You take it upon yourselves today as doctors of dental surgery, researchers, clinicians, hygienists, the responsibility of performing to the best of your abilities the great services of your honored profession. As West Virginia University graduates, always aspire to put your education to work by exploring our world's greatest pro problems. Continue to cultivate your global awareness and aim to create a more peaceful and just world. Constantly refine your abilities to uncover facts, analyze problems, and communicate clearly. Dream big and never stop learning. Share your pride in West Virginia University wherever you go and act as ambassadors for WVU and the life-changing power of education. So by the power 
and, and by the power and authority vested in me by West Virginia University's Board of Governors, I hereby confer upon you the degree for which you have been recommended with all the rights, honors, privileges appertaining thereto. As West Virginia University's newest graduates, bachelors, you may move your tassels to the left side of your cap as a symbol of your achievement. Please join me in congratulating all of our new graduates. Thank you, Dr. Kalenda. We now have the presentation of some prestigious awards that are not in the program because the recipients are not known until the final School of Dentistry grades were calculated. You guys can sit. As a special means of honoring excellence and academic achievement, the faculty of the School of Dentistry presents certificates of honor to those dental graduates earning the top three grade point averages during their studies at the School of Dentistry as well as certificates of honor for the top three dental hygiene graduates earning the highest grade point averages. I will ask the recipients to join me on the stage when your names are called. The certificate of honor for the dental graduate earning the third highest grade point average goes to Dr. Stephen Ryan Peck. The certificate of honor for the dental graduate earning the second highest grade point average goes to Dr. Shelby Allison Alexander. And the certificate of honor for the dental graduate earning the highest grade point average goes to Dr. Gina Beth Graziani. We have a tie for the Certificate of Honor for the Dental Hygiene graduate earning the third highest grade point averages. These awards go to Shana Shell and Haifei Wang. The Certificate of Honor for the Dental Hygiene graduate earning the second highest grade <coughs> point average is awarded to Ms. Lisa Brooke Sturtz. And the Certificate of Honor for the Dental Hygiene graduate earning the highest grade point average is awarded to Carrie Catherine Thomas.
In addition to the student awards, we also have awards for outstanding faculty achievement. These award recipients are selected by the senior classes of dentistry and dental hygiene. And I'll ask that the faculty join me on the podium when called. For 2013, the Outstanding Dental Hygiene Faculty Award is a tie and goes to Ms. Sue Ann Gatos and Mr. Christopher Atkins. And the Outstanding Dental Faculty Award for 2013 goes to Dr. Anthony Tom Borgia. <laughs> Who couldn't make it today. I will now call upon Dr. Peter Lashide, president of the WVU School of Dentistry Alumni Association, to give the charge to the class of 2013. Dr. Lashide. The WVU Alumni Charge 2013. On behalf of all the graduates of the university who have preceded you, I extend to each member of the class of 2013 congratulations and best wishes. Today you are joining a legacy of success that reaches back almost 150 years. Over that time, WVU graduates have succeeded in almost every field of human endeavor. They have been heroes in battle, they have lifted our spirits through the arts. They have revolutionized technology. They have saved lives. They have committed themselves to public service. They have explored the mysteries of our universe. They have built business enterprises that employ thousands, and they have nurtured society's next generation. The story of each graduate is unique. WVU has given you the tools to succeed but you must each find your own path to success. With that in mind, I offer this charge to you, the class of 2013. As you enter one phase of your career, start learning what you need to advance to the next stage. When you set goals, be flexible and don't be afraid to change your plan if circumstances warrant it. As you work toward your goals, don't forget to spend time nurturing relationships. As you develop your unique gifts, apply them in ways that make our world better. When you have to choose between thinking like the crowd or thinking like yourself, choose to be an innovator. When you have the chance to explore a new place or a new perspective, take it. As you travel the world, wear your flying West Virginia with pride. And when people ask you where you'll learn to succeed, tell them you're a mountaineer. Once again, congratulations to all of you, West Virginia University's class of 2013. I will now ask that you all stand and join Mr. Joshua Stubbs in singing the alma mater.
Please be seated. Now we'll f it's time to just finish up. <laughs> Following the recessional, everyone is invited to join us for a reception upstairs in the Platinum Ballroom honoring our graduates. We really do thank you all for joining us for this very special occasion. And once again, congratulations to the class of 2013. We ask that the members of the audience remain seated until the graduates and the stage party have exited the auditorium. And last but not least, go Mountaineers. <laughs>